Australia. This wild land down under is home to some of the most dangerous animals on Earth, including a vast array of dangerously venomous spiders. But it's not just the dangerously venomous animals that call this unique continent home. Under the cover of night, there's a spider with an incredibly unusual adaptation. My name is Jack, and I've spent my entire life traveling all over the globe on a mission to get up close and personal with the strangest and most dangerous animals alive. Join me to discover the truth about even the most fearsome creatures that call this planet home. In today's adventure, I'm headed out into the Australian wilderness just after nightfall on the hunt for a spider whose survival strategy is downright shocking. So these spiders, they are nocturnal. Why? Well, uh, because their eyes literally melt, deteriorate in the sun. So I'm going to be checking all of these kind of grasses and low-hanging branches for one of these spectacular little arachnids um, because that's really uh, going to be the best possible chance we have of finding one of these uh, unfortunate uh, but rather successful spiders here. So uh, we're going to get looking and hopefully my eyes don't melt out of my skull as I search late into the night for one of these fantastic invertebrates. Let's go. These are purely nocturnal spiders, so during the day they remain tucked tightly into the base of the plants they hunt on at night. I'll be using this to my advantage, though, by shining for these spiders at night. My light should catch on these beautiful spiders, as well as their webs. As you can see, there's lots of little gnats and moths kind of flying around in the air, and that is what these spiders are counting on. They don't actually make you know, orb webs or anything like that, they spin a sticky, messy net and they sit there hanging and they will whoa, slam that net down on all these flying insects and munch and munch and munch. And that's why they need those incredibly powerful and complex eyes and that extremely photosensitive membrane. Uh, in order to spot that prey and react quick enough to capture it. So I'm basically just looking for these spiders either with that net already sprung or maybe crawling out onto a branch to begin webbing up for the night. Uh, so we are going to hopefully be able to scrounge one up here. Looks like nice, good, great net casting spider habitat. Let's take a look right here, folks. We have one, two little orb weavers right here. Now, uh, these are not the spiders we are looking for, but this is a good sign that there's lots of insects moving through here uh, to have these two, uh, this one's actually eating right now, have these two orb weavers uh, kind of hanging out in such close proximity that that is good, good, good news for us because that uh, that's telling me that this is viable, good habitat uh, for the spiders we're after. Finally, after hours of poring over the grassy vegetation, I spotted the arachnid I was searching for. Oh. <laughs> Look, folks. Oh, it's not even it's not even late enough in the night for this net caster to have spun its web. But take a look right there. Hanging just like I thought they would. This is the beautiful, I believe, a Rufus net casting spider here. And oh my gosh, after a night of searching, we finally have our spectacular little arachnid that we were hoping to find. And they are just bizarre looking. Those giant bulbous eyes are just something else. Let's see, let me get a container here. Oh. Oh. oh, look at that. We have our creepy, spooky spider, folks. I'm going to hunker down so we can take a close look at this fantastic creature. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Count how many times they say fantastic in this video. Because it's true. Oh, look at that. 
All right, folks. Oh, this is such a weird spider. Look at that. Now this was one of the arachnids at the top of my list to see. And you might be looking at it and going, golly, Jack, are you sure? It's not a very pretty spider. It's not very big. And I'll tell you right now, it's not very venomous. So what makes this spider special? Well, folks, this spider does something really, really cool. Its eyes melt every day. Every single day, the photoreceptive membrane within these spider's eyes is destroyed by sunlight. Now, why, folks, why? What could possibly be going on with these spiders? that uh, they would evolutionarily select to destroy their eyes every day. I don't know about you folks, but I use my eyes on a daily basis. And I don't think I would like for them to be absolutely eviscerated only to grow back and be replaced every evening. That's right. These spiders' eyes melt every morning. On the inside lens of their larger front-facing eyes, these arachnids grow an incredibly sensitive and powerful photoreceptive membrane every day. This membrane is even more powerful than the nocturnal vision of animals such as owls and even cats, but due to the lack of an iris in the spider's eye, the sun's light makes quick work of this adaptation come dawn. This temporary night vision might seem like more trouble than it's worth, but it's helped the ogre-faced or net-casting spiders fill an incredible niche and do surprisingly well with their hunting strategy. Super, super delicate, but incredibly effective membrane that coats their eyes and it allows them to see prey as it moves through. Now, the nets of these spiders are extremely flexible and stretchy. This allows these spiders to ensnare even larger prey successfully. When you grow your eyes back every night, every chance for prey is an opportunity that these spiders can't let pass them by. There's all sorts of little mosquitoes and moths and things like that that fly through, and they'll use these front arms to hold out that net once again to just whoo, snag that prey as it flies through. So I really wanted to see one of these beautiful spiders. They have such a unique little face, such a fabulous adaptation with those strange eyes. And it just seems so crazy to think about an animal that quite literally lets its eyes be destroyed every single dawn, only to grow some of the most effective nocturnal eyes in the animal kingdom. So unbelievably awesome, folks. Well, my friends, I think we had a fantastic time getting to know the lovely Rufus netcasting spider here. This is such a fantastically adapted species to a nocturnal hunting style. And it's really, really unique to get to see kind of a different web utilizing hunting strategy with spiders. It's very, very uh, interesting to see not just the cliche orb weaver um, approach, but to have a species that actually properly uses mechanical webs to ensnare its prey. So unbelievably cool. So we're gonna let this lovely little uh, spider back onto this little grass here to make a brand new web. So unbelievably spectacular. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this video at least half as much as I enjoyed making it because this was absolutely a spectacular encounter. I could only have hoped to have with such a fantastic arachnid. Fantastic arachnid, have you heard it enough? I'd hope not, but I'm sure you're done hearing me say the same thing over and over. So my friends, I'll leave you to it. That's all the time I'm going to give you today. That's all the time we're going to hang out with each other. 
because I got stuff to do, places to be, people to talk to, presidents and kings and queens of the land to shake hands with. I'm an important spider catching guy and I need to get on with my life and I'm sure most of you do too. So that's just about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the lovely netcasting spider group. And uh, I hope you learned something. But if you didn't do any of those things, I hope I can at least leave you with this. We got some cool stuff out here, folks. This planet, it's full of some amazingly cool and interesting organisms. And some of them might be creepy crawly. Some of them might be even dangerous. But they all play an important role in their respective ecosystems. So it's important that uh, even if we don't like certain animals or even if some of them creep us or scare us out, um, you know, that's not their intention. That's not what they're here to do. They're here to help in maintaining the precious balance of their respective ecosystems and in turn, the balance, stability, and health of our planet as a whole. So be sure to uh, try your best to appreciate our lovely little spider friends like the lovely net casting spider here. Um, but uh, other than that, take care of yourselves. I hope to see you next week. I hope to see you next week with the next upload. And uh, I hope that you take care of yourselves until then. And uh, I hope to see you next time. So goodbye, friends, and I will see you there.